yourself and Rob Holding have been playing together quite a lot. Is that something that's really benefiting your relationship on the pitch now? Yeah, well, it's always uh, important when you play in uh, in a central uh, defensive position that uh, your partner next to you, you know what, what he's doing, you, he knows what you're doing. But um, and football, you have always to adapt. It's not uh, always, you're not going to play always with the same players. So um, for me, it's important that uh, I have a person next to me uh, that uh, I think... Um, we 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 can we can play with each other. That's the case with Rob and with with Sokra and of course with Lolo as well, and with uh, Mavro I have been playing as well. So um, with with everyone really I have a good relationship. It doesn't matter if we play a lot of games together or not. But even in training, uh, when we when we do play together, I feel that uh, with every player that have been playing uh, in that position, I felt I felt quite uh, comfortable. And then obviously with Rob in the in the last games we got the. Uh, we got good results, so um, I'm very happy for that as well. Anybody else? Just wonder, you're obviously on a very good run at the moment after all the results. I just wondered, what do you think are the biggest things that Unai has added to Arsenal this year compared to last season? Well, I think um, for for me personally, uh, the the biggest thing was that um, he's someone who really knows what what he wants from each player. He tells you exactly what what he wants to what he wants you to do, but then at the same time he gives you freedom to to expose your talent. Um, when, for example, when we don't have the ball, he he tells you exactly where to stand and where how to get the ball from the opponent. And uh, when we have the ball, he gives you the options that you can use, but still you can decide which option you're gonna choose. So, for me, is it's like um, a good mix between. Uh, freedom, but still very disciplined, uh, and and having the same plan in the whole team, and I think that's what uh, what we saw, especially against uh, Liverpool. I think we came out. That was the first game where I, I felt like we came out from the first minute, and 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 we were everywhere until the ninety nineteenth minute. So um, yeah, I, I feel like there's a good mix be between discipline and still a lot of freedom. Is there a bit more input? No, I think Steve is uh, someone who is always there, always giving us a hand. And uh, with his experience, obviously, when he tells you something that he sees in training, um, you, you are listening very carefully because, uh, as I said, with his experience, you have to listen to him. Um, but um, I don't feel that uh, he's now trying to create something new. He's very careful looking what we're doing especially when we're doing things wrong because when things are going good it's very easy to not 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 look at the small mistakes but uh, he still looks at everything and when he sees something where we can improve he's always there to try and give us a hand do you, do you feel that steve is maybe a bit more defensive and apologetic than he was before? well um i think that we are very good attacking and that makes the defensive work uh, as well a bit easier because when you when you attack well and even when we lose the ball we are we are kind of uh, pressing straight away and trying and win the ball back straight away high up the pitch so that makes it for us easier to to defend because you don't have to go always 60 70 yards back to win the ball back in your own box so i think um we are very good attacking and still while we are attacking we try and focus on prepare when when we lose the ball to be in the right position to recover it as quick as possible. Do you think maybe some of our front players are a bit more defensive in line with rather than us have to always think about going back? No, I think the midfield players are defensively minded when they have to be, but when we have the ball, um, we have the same... Um, th th those players, they are trying as well to create things uh, up front because we don't have defensive players and offensive players. We try to be we try to work as a team because we try to build up from the back so it's we have to play forward from the back and when we haven't got the ball when we're pressing we're pressing from the front and we're defending from the front so when we have the ball we are all offensive players and when we lose the ball we are all defensive players Last one. Just, just following up on that how much i mean you, you know it's so widely praised after the Liverpool game how impressed have you been with how luke square is settled in 
how much easier does it make your job having someone like him as your captain? Yeah, I'm very happy for him. Um, he played as well in my in my uh, one of my ex clubs in Sampdoria. So um, when he came here, uh, of course, it's not easy because it's a different uh, different type of football uh, in England and 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 in Italy. But um, yeah, you have to give to give credit to him because he's someone who works hard, who wants who wants to work hard, and uh, who shows that on the on the pitch as well. And obviously against Liverpool, he recovered a lot of balls, and uh, obviously that makes it not only easy for for me or for the defender, it makes it e uh, easier for the whole team because then, as long as you have the ball, as more. Uh, opportunities you have to to score a goal, but uh, overall I think you have to give him credit because I know myself I changed a lot of leagues and a lot of countries, and to settle in it's not easy, and I think he's done it brilliantly well. Thank you, folks.